What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. Today we're here to talk about how to fix the Triangle of Doom. I'm gonna scoot to the side here a little bit. Okay, so this actually isn't as bad as it seems and the fix is actually easy. It just involves quite a bit of steps. Now there may be several reasons why you have this on your login screen. As for me, I have this on my login screen because I went out of my way to set up two-factor verification across my Google account. And then this message appeared on both the Chromebooks that I have. So basically, if you have multiple Chromebooks as I do, you may see this message across all of those devices in which you're going to want to repeat all the steps in this video to get rid of that red triangle of doom. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are at the main screen. Now, if you're fortunate enough, you can click on your avatar and you can sign into your Wi-Fi network. Now, this is where I messed up. I was trying to rush, I was frustrated, wondering why I couldn't log into my Chromebook. And I entered the password incorrectly, which just created more work for me. So with that being said, if you have the ability to enter your Wi-Fi password, please enter it correctly or you're going to have to follow all the steps in this video. So if you can't log into your Wi-Fi network, you're going to want to go ahead and click on Browse as Guest. Now once you sign on as a guest, you're going to click on that panel in the bottom right hand corner, the one that has the Wi-Fi network, the battery meter, and the clock. You'll then want to click on your network name and then the Wi-Fi will probably disconnect. Then you'll click on that Wi-Fi symbol again and all available networks should show up. Now, if you click on this and yours appears again, just click on your network name and then it'll bring you to another page. Now, because you entered your password wrong, you're going to want to look at where your network name is. There's going to be a forget button. You're going to hit that forget button. Now, the next thing you want to look for is a little arrow next to a slider. You're going to want to make sure that that slider is blue. If it's not, click on it and that should change it to blue. Basically, that little arrow is just going to show all the available networks that your Chromebook can detect and you're going to click on the one that's obviously yours. Now, this is the part where you actually enter your password again. Make sure you enter it correctly else you may have to go ahead and forget the network and repeat these steps over again until you enter it correctly. Now once you've done this, you want to click on that panel in the bottom right hand corner again, the one that has the Wi-Fi symbol, the battery meter, and the clock, and then you're going to exit guest mode. Now once you've done this, your Chromebook will log out and you may get a screen that says please wait and it'll look like it's loading. It's going to take a little bit of time. You'll then get additional screens that will ask you to log into your Chromebook. Now, if all of this was caused by the fact that you did as I did and you set up two-factor verification, you may need your phone nearby to do the two-factor verification process to actually log into your Chromebook. Now, I did try one of the prompts, which was basically clicking yes on my phone to log into my Chromebook, and it didn't work. And that could just be because I was trying to take pictures of all of this to make this video. Now, if you do the same thing and the prompt doesn't work for you, there are additional prompts that you can try. So I had to try a different prompt. And instead of using the one where it said, click yes on my phone, I had to have a code texted to me. Now, in order to finish this process, you may be asked for your old password. It's important that you remember this password else I don't know what's going to happen. Now, if you were able to solve this problem differently, leave a comment below because it'll help others out who may need a different solution to this problem. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. And you can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.